What's going on, everybody? Ian Fernando here, and I'm doing a update on one of my favorite spy tools called Anthrax. It is one of my favorite tools to use when trying to be more creative and finding what's working, what's out there. And obviously, spy tools should not be your go to for a quick flip. You know what I mean? It's more as a resource to help you find out what is working and give you an advantage. So let's go ahead and go to anthrax.com. Again, this is one of my favorite spy tools. This is a spy tool for if you're doing anything with push advertising, drop shipping, or native advertising. Since I do a lot more of the push and native, uh, and then probably scale through on Google and Facebook. This is actually a great tool to, uh, to help me find out what is working out there. So let's go ahead and sign in. And what I want to show you today is what Antrex has updated on their side, on their native side. Okay, so we're going to focus everything today on native advertising, native spy tool advertising and what this new section of Antrex is all about. And I think it's pretty much a, a game changer uh, in itself. So as you can see here, I've already done some, uh, some spy myself. So let me just turn off this filter. Okay, and when we first get started with any sort of ad spying, we basically want to use these filters to help us figure out what is already out there and we want the ones that are more constant more consistent so what i usually do is show me ads that are running for at least seven days so this is a timer pretty much where the ads have been running for at least one day up to seven days right or you can do long longer ads that have been running for at least seven days and ongoing right and there's two way, two reasons why you do that. I don't need to get into that uh, today, but we'll do seven days into the future or seven, starting from seven days onwards, right? This will actually show me that our the ads that are profitable at day seven and ongoing. And here is ad strength, basically how strong the ads are. I usually started off at 250, or 500 depending the vertical that I'm looking at. And the other thing I wanna do is do it by English since I only do advertise in tier one countries or English speaking countries. And now what you see here is a slew of ads for you to go ahead and start deciphering what is being promoted, what's being seen and what is being used. And what you'll start see seeing here is the fact that, let me just do something real quick here, is you'll see something here uh, which shows WordPress, ads and arbitrage, same thing here. And this is a new addition that I do want to show you uh, in this new update of Antrax. This is, again, this is only on the native side, okay? Uh, da, 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 da. And let's see. So we want to take a look at this and this, and you'll see this right here under technology. Oh man, I'm not good with this drawing on this uh, on this uh, new thing I'm using. So let's just clear all drawings and take off anecdote. It'll be easier for me to see. As long as you see my mouse, everything is fine. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at what these mean. So this basically tells me that this is on Google, on WordPress, and as it's arbitrage. Now, technically the technology is not really as to arbitrage because this filter here is basically telling you what platform they're using. Big Commerce, ClickFunnels, Shopify, WooCommerce, and WordPress, right? Uh, and for you, this is an advantage because you can basically just filter on ClickFunnels. A lot of affiliates, they do use ClickFunnels as their landing page uh, builder, right? Uh, because it's just easy, it's easy to use, and it's quick uh, to just import a design or use a simple design, and there you have it. And as you can see here, everything you can see is technologies under ClickFunnels, 
being advertised in Locker Dome, content ads, take a look at anywhere else, MSN, AdBlade, et cetera. So now what we want to do is take a look. Let me make sure my filters are up the way I want them. Now let's just take a look at to see what's being advertised. Uh, let's take a look at this here. So this is a pretty typical, simple advertorial. Okay, this is basically a one-page landing page. This is pretty typical of the native um, advertising page, where it's just a heading, uh, the image, description, and usually call to action at the end, like right here. But this is a very long one, so let's just make sure and validate that this is actually on ClickFunnels. This is the actual landing page. This is page source. And you can see here, this is actually on ClickFunnels. So Antrax is actually doing a great job of deciphering that this page is actually made in ClickFunnels, which is pretty awesome, right? Now, let's just take a look at some stuff here where we can actually share it, We're actually using ClickFunnels stuff. So the click goes to, oh, this is going, this, they have, a I guess, a link protection script on here. Yep, they do, so it will not work on the offer. But let's take a look at uh, ad networks. So they are, are advertising on Outbrain, Taboola, MSN Engage, and Rec Content. The majority of it has probably been on Taboola, which is pretty good. Outbrain does look like it takes a most of the percentage of traffic, but it's been running more, much longer on Taboola than Outbrain. So oh, the other advantage with Antrax is that it actually gives you the publishers that you can advertise on. So one thing about native advertising is a lot of people say it is pretty expensive, right? It is expensive because you can advertise on so many platforms, so many websites, and the goal of advertising or the way to be successful on native is basically doing a blacklist, right? But with tools like Antrax, you can basically copy all of these uh, websites and give it to your ad manager and they will in then give you these widget IDs or publisher IDs, which you then put in and create a whitelist uh, campaign within Tabula, Outbrain, Rep Content, et cetera, right? So this is why having Spyco is pretty useful. But the disadvantage of having a whitelist is competition. Remember, you're not the only person spying on tools or finding out that US Online Today is, is a great uh, place placement to advertise. Your CPCs are obviously going to be competitive, it's going to be expensive, but it does have a higher chance of getting a conversion. So you have to wait it out. Is it better to arbitrage clicks, get them cheaper on, and, and do blacklisting, or do you want to whitelist, compete with CPC, and see if uh, you'll work? The disadvantage is that you need to have the budget. If you don't, then there's no point to create a whitelist. Okay, and you know what I want to do? Let's take a look at ClickBank. I want to see if there's any offers on ClickBank. And I feel like ClickBank creators are ClickFunnel creators. Let's just take a look. So we do not have any data. Let's turn off English filter. We do not have anything. Let's take off, pick up ClickBank. Because I do like, I do want to show you the advantage of having uh, this technology filter uh, on and showcasing that, hey, you can look at what people on ClickFunnels are actually doing and using to create their pages. Is the page different from a typical um, HTML page that you just upload to Vulture or Azure, but we live in a world now where everything is automatically created for you. You just pay a service like ClickFunnels or any landing page builder out there, and boom, you have a landing page. Instead of learning the tech side of things like creating a server, opening a server on Vulture, make sure it's scalable, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? ClickFunnels handles all that. But also ClickFunnels is also pretty damn slow in loading your pages sometimes. Oh, yeah, so this is a pretty typical page again of how things work. 
I do want to see, let me change this filter out. Let's go to ClickBank. Oops. Take off ClickFunnels. Because what ClickBank and ClickFunnels basically teaches you to do is to collect leads. And I kind of want to see if they, anybody's doing that. Because uh, I, myself, I do a lead gen to offer strategy instead of a click to offer strategy. And a lot of people, they do, a lot of people, they do click to offer instead of a lead to offer. Let's see, this is a typical, this here, this is a typical landing page that I use. This is the most common landing pages here. Let's just see if they do anything with lead gen. Cause I would, this is how I would do it. When they click on it, a lead gen form pops up and then they get redirected to the actual affiliate offer. And this has a uh, click protector on here as well by Benom, if you can tell by this, Benom, another one of my favorite tracking platforms, just because you actually install on your server. Uh, let's see, let's see if we can find something else. I want to find this with a long, here, here's pretty long uh, ad strength. Again, you can see this is a typical native ad style landing page, it works. Let's see if they collect leads. They do not. This looks like it's also by the same publisher, actually. Um, let's just look at Let's do this again. Same thing here. And it looks like it's the same publisher. Let's, you know what? Let's take a look at something here. Uh, the user, this user is probably promoting everywhere. Uh, creatives. So how Amtrak sees is that, uh, for they assume that some people are running the same campaign and will basically aggregate them together. And you can see that we can safely kind of say this might be the same user, right? Um, you can see it's by Benoms, Rev Content, ClickBank, and they're, they're promoting basically the most popular offers on ClickBank right now, which is do it yourself, obviously some help. Mostly do it yourself in other countries though. This is like this makes sense to me because Vietnam, you'd want to do your own stuff, especially in third world countries, it kind of makes sense to do it. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at landing pages. But as you can see, Antrax gives you a lot of resources for you at your disposal. Uh, it looks like there's, there's something wrong with that, so we'll not go through there. This is where he's advertising. If you click on the plus sign here, you can see their domains. And then again, you can take this information and send it to your ad network, and they will give you a whitelist uh, widget ID, which again is argumentative. I do not go to whitelist uh, route, I usually go to blacklist route. And he's only advertising on the web content. Uh, what else comes here? Actually, let's go back to technology and sort it out by Shopify. Now we can take a look at Shopify platforms and if they're advertising anywhere. And this way we can see what popular product, what products, what physical products are actually popular and where they're being advertised. So it looks like survival gear is always a popular item. Here is a screenshot of the landing page. I'm, I mean, this is fairly aggressive. I kind of tend not to do all this stuff because it's just so compressed, right? And not a lot of people, and a lot of people hate that stuff. But it's working for them. That means it might be working for others and it might work for you as well. Let's take a look at some other stuff. This is on MSN. This is also Shopify. This is it's more looks like a bigger advertiser than your typical drop shippers. Let's take a look at some other things here. Actually, let's do it by also language is English. So we want to look at English speaking Shopify stores that are being advertised. And as you can see, MSN, Google, is there anything under here? So Yahoo, Yahoo Engage Yahoo. Yeah. This is on Shopify. This is a landing page style. 
right? Which goes to a Shopify store, which is pretty good. So that's the pre qual, pre landing page. Oh, interesting mask on Outbrain. Very interesting. Usually they're pretty strict. Maybe they've loosened it. I guess based on how you do your creatives. Let's take a look at this. Here is another Shopify store. Very clean cut. And this is what I like about Amtech. They're always advancing and evolving. The fact that you can just look for click funnel landing pages or click funnel uh, users and being advertised in MGID, Taboola, Outbrain, et cetera. Looking for big commerce platforms, looking for WordPress landing pages. Uh, WordPress more popular because you want to see, hey, are they doing in adsense arbitrage, search arbitrage, et cetera. Maybe you just want to look for WooCommerce, WooCommerce and Shopify stores, right? This way this allows you to divulge and see what is being advertised out there and what's on the internet and putting all this information for you. And Amtrak does a great job of consolidating the information. Again, this is one of my favorite spy tools and it just gives you the information that you need. Not a lot of spy tools will do that. They actually try to segment it for you to make it much, much easier, which is, which is fine and understandable. But a person like me, I like to go ahead and dig deep into the data, put it into my Google Sheets, try to figure things out, create these uh, weighing effects on, on uh, creatives or whatnot, and then I, I make my decision there, right? Others, they just want to see what's in front of them and then take action, right? So, but there you have it. This is Amtrak's platform here. I do enjoy it a lot. Uh, I just wanted to show you the technology side of their new filter, which allows you to see the platform they're actually using on, right? And besides everything else from separating it by advertising network or ad network to your affiliate network, right? To the category, to the language, to the device, and obviously your geo. I think it is a very powerful platform. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave your comment below. And I'll obviously go ahead and help you with any questions you may have. But that's really it. Um, I wanted to show you, ooh, I just basically wanted to show you everything on there. Um, if you have any questions, again, go ahead and leave a comment and I uh, will talk to you soon and give you an update on anything Antrex, Aspine, affiliate marketing related. Talk soon.